Hello and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. We have a Halloween slash autumn haul for you from Walmart and Dollar Tree. Stripe, you can't eat it all. Stripe really likes this, so he's endorsing it. Like That's very respectable too, that's some amount. I'm impressed. If he can eat it. This is a candy corn popcorn mix with caramel drizzled on. It's very fallish, so it's nice. And it seemed different, so we decided to try it, and we did. And Stripe loves it, and we like it. It's good. It's kind of like, um, it's not the softest when you get into it. like, But it's good, because when your jaws get tired, you're like, okay, I can just stop eating this for taste, <laughs> so I don't like get huge. Like, yeah. But it's a nice amount. It's good. And Stripe endorses it. Isn't he adorable in his pumpkin costume? Aww. I just love it. Okay. Now, Slappy can wake up and join us. We told him that, you know, Stripe should at least get to, like endorse the candy corn okay now that is in store from Walmart I got a few more things in store but we ordered some stuff online and while we were doing that we had to look at what Halloween is online that wasn't in stores there's rat number one from their gothic collection we have named him Boris he's like 10 inches or 12 inches and he would have maybe ten dollars and he's like a rubbery with something soft inside like stuffing so he's an interesting texture. He sits up nicely. And we like rats. So big rats, little rats, they're all good. And it was a different one for our collection. This one's kind of like, I guess, a zombie rat or a... What do they call him? Like a uh, they call him the evil rat uh, online. Here they just uh, refer to the ghoulish production, <laughs> which you can see why, because like... He's a like darker looking and zombified slightly, but uh, very pretty brown, uh, also brown texture, um, color and good texture. I can uh, you can feel his claws over here and see them very well. Yeah, the other one had nice claws too, but that one looks different definitely. And he's got foam inside, and he's kind of like the same rubbery on the outside. So I think their stuffing makes them nicely lightweight. And let's see, one more thing we got from, well, a couple more things we got from Walmart. We got, this is now back to in-store. There's really only two online things that are specifically Halloween-y. Here's another fall, do they call it fall blend from Starbucks? Oh, uh, yeah, Starbucks fall blend. And on the other side, it was saying something about it being hearty and spicy. And, yeah, a hearty with spice notes. I assume that means pumpkin spice and not like hot spice because... You know, hot spice doesn't seem very fallish somehow. It's like, no. But that's Starbucks, and it's like, I think it was like four or five dollars. So that's cool. And so there is pumpkin coffee existing. Yay. And now we have this pumpkin. I think it was five dollars. Yes. It's a three foot long hanging pumpkin he's like a styrofoam body and then the clothes are like silk and felt mix like the legs and the shoes are more felt and then the rest of it has silk and the head has silk on it and let's see if it has felt let me touch it let me feel it out no that's just silk and then the leaves are silk yeah and then the stem is like well it has a little bit of felt here and like a hard like it feels like a stick almost with felt okay so, and witchy boots witchy but i love the boots on it it's so cool I'm not sure where that's going to go yet, but it wanted to go with us. So, and then we have this lovely witch for the same price. More of a cheerful witch than I usually go for because I like the scary ones, but I just liked her for the kitchen. And then Gomez was going to get the pumpkin, and then the witch kind of jumped off the shelf. So we decided to take her too because obviously she wanted to go. <laughs> these are Walmart because we're showing Walmart and Dollar Tree, so these are still Walmart. And she was the same price, three foot hanging witch. And the back is flat on both, you know, where it can like go nicely against a wall or whatever. So that was that. Now let's see what is in this bag. We had so many bags. I mean, these are just um, chokers. They were like five for four dollars and they're different kinds they were in the regular jewelry section not the Halloween but they're all different kinds of black and I am making chokers out of some Halloween earrings so I wanted to get more chokers I, I like to wear chokers when I want to wear a little clutch of something and I would already have other stuff on Blah. that was a tongue twister okay 
Now, we will try to show these. These are cute little bats. Gomez had the idea that I put two of these on one choker. They were bat earrings with little red bodies, like little fake stones, and then like um, little red eyes, and then not overly detailed. I like a lot of detail in my bats, but if it's just a little choker and I want to throw on some extra bats, it's cool. And Gomez had the idea that they would look better together just beside each other, dangling around. So he had a very brilliant idea. And then under the bats are these little, I guess they're supposed to be skeletons with red, but then Aunt Tabitha pointed out that they kind of look like E.T., so I don't know. But you know what? They're going to go into either a Halloween swap box or a giveaway. I haven't decided, but they're going to go somewhere. But they came on the card with the bats I needed, so hopefully somebody will decide what they are and love them. And next up, Gomez got these little adorable witches. They're like little, um, they're like a mix of hard jewelry and then soft, puffy, like fluff, fluff balls. <laughs> looks like she's in a cauldron. We're going to use these as zipper pulls. Or, you know, decorate a bag handle with them. Adorable green face. You learn which you know. See, and lots of soft. Lots of softness. Gomez could sell anything. I like it. And then every witch needs a cat familiar, so we're going to put them side by side on whatever we DIY with these. There's a little cat fluff ball. Got a hard head, and then the body is like the little ball. I wouldn't design these, and I think they kind of look silly and ridiculous, to be honest, but, you know, they're here. It's Halloween. You get sucked into it. It's cute. Okay. Even though it's not really, but it is, so... You know, you get so much stuff on Halloween just because you get sucked into the moment of like, it's a witch and it's a cat and I have to have it, even though I wouldn't normally do the puff thing. Like, okay. All right, next is this set of earrings that we're going to make into pendants. Mine will be a choker. And I have allergy eye itch, you guys. It's not cool. Our weather keeps going up and down. It's like cold and then it's like 70s and then it's cold and it's like 70s. And it's like, okay, no, it's false. Stop it. <sighs> Those are little, um, they're like pumpkins, but then they have the witch hat, which is nice, and then they have cat ears. And, like, it's cool. You get all three. I was happy with this one. This is a pendant. Um, I, this was, a, these were earrings ages ago, and I, I didn't wear them as earrings because they're big, and I turned this into a pendant. Is that showing, Gomez? Yes. Oh, it's a witch hat on a pumpkin. It's metal with the enamel, and I love this. But then I saw those, and I was like, okay, well, it's cool to combine a witch and a pumpkin. You gotta love that. But now it's a witch, a pumpkin, a cat. Oh, my God. And I was trying to be good. I was like, you know, I already have this one. I'm wearing it right now. And it's happened. It's like, no, you need this one. I'm like, oh. Go on. And he's like, yeah, we need this one. Yeah. So I'm trying to be, like, a little bit restrained. and <sighs> Nobody wants me to be, so I buy them. Now these are, are they called five foot cat streamers? And yes. They come with, um, is it five feet or three feet? No, it's 12 inches. It's something. I'm sorry. Uh, fun streamers. Hang from the branches, porch, or balcony. 12 inch over 25 inch. Yeah, 12 over 25. Okay. Those I might try on the door, and if it's too big, I do have railing at our stairs that they would go on. But I haven't really decorated the outside a lot just because, I don't know. Um, there's not a lot. It's an apartment, so, yeah. But these will be nice. And, ah, okay, that was fun. It's Halloween-y. Halloween. I wanted to kind of show them, and they're just jumping out. They come with these ties. And then, I don't know how well it's going to show. That's probably some sort of lovely instruction. But they're just kind of plastic with the pictures. Like they're, like, the plastic bag sort of material. Oops. I don't know if that will even show, but that's the last thing in that bag. <laughs> Not the last thing in our haul. Okay, so... And these were like a dollar. If I unfurl them? They... Unfurl, that sounds good. Yeah. The mast of a ship. Yeah. Unfurling. <laughs> and now Dollar Tree. I needed this for the kitchen. It's like a interesting like just a green witch but it's like adorable kind of heavy plastic and I thought it would be nice for the kitchen wall and of course it was a dollar and it's nice and heavy and it's pretty big and so this is for Oogie Boogie what are they called uh, they're called stretchy creatures 
it's eight pieces and uh, inside the package they look a little bit like they could be bug like i'm gonna look and see what they're like and i'm gonna open them while gomez shows i got a bat choker also at walmart sorry it was the last thing i got from walmart and i was looking for it with my hand trying to find it while we were doing the other stuff um but it's like glittery choker i'm gonna probably do something else with that and then the bat on it um is I guess metal with black enamel, and I'm going to make that probably into a bracelet. You guys always know how I'm doing my bat bracelet obsession. So, well, that looks like a millipede. That'll be nice. Our lighting fixtures, that the lamp, the big like softbox lights. Just I thought it would look nice to cover them with black wool webbing. So, that is what this is for. It will be a little like in-home DIY project after this video is over. So, that is our newest recent little haul. If you're new, do check out our spooky playlists, subscribe, etc., etc. We are Gomez, Morticia, and Slappy of the Goosebumps. Yes. So, um, until next time. Stay spooky, my friends.